General Omar Bradley is sworn in by Secretary of Defense Johnson as the first permanent chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff as unification of the armed forces moves off paper towards reality. Before taking up the greatest responsibilities ever given a military figure in U.S. peacetime history, the 56-year-old soldier swears in General Joseph Lawton Collins to succeed him as Army Chief of Staff. General Collins, whose tactics from Guadalcanal to the Rhine earned him the nickname Lightning Joe, gets a non-military award from his proud wife. The effectiveness of unification is shown as the Navy and Marines, long unified, try helicopters to solve the problems of an amphibious landing. The big Piyasaki helicopter transports take Marine combat teams from the deck of the USS Palo somewhere in the Atlantic. Ashore, Marine jet planes lay a smoke screen to cover the landing. With the first wave safely ashore, the helicopters hurry back to bring in artillery, ammunition, and supporting troops. The Marines have landed in the new air age style. <laughs> 